Okay, let's start building out my little cloud. The first server I'll set up is called OpenSense. Now, normally OpenSense is used as a firewall, but for my cloud, I'm gonna take a different approach and use it for DNS. Let's start by looking at the hardware. I'm using a pretty low-end Intel NUC, and I'll be connecting it to my network using an ethernet cable and a switch. Now, my needs are pretty simple. I'm just using OpenSense for DNS, but if you wanna use it as a firewall, you probably should buy a different server with two or more network interfaces. For this video, I'll assume you have a rough working knowledge of DNS. And by the way, if you're interested in a video about DNS fundamentals, let me know in the comments below. In my cloud, my apps will be reaching out to some shared services. One example is Vault, which is used for secret management. But instead of using the IP address, I'd like to use a domain name, like vault.heavymetalcloud.lan. Since LAN is a private top-level domain, I need a way to look up the IP address. And this is where OpenSense comes into play. You can create your own DNS lookup table, or you can send a domain request to OpenSense and get an IP address back. Now let's install OpenSense. To get started, I'll download the OpenSense image from their webpage. Next, I'll flash the image onto a USB drive using a program called Etcher. And finally, I'll plug the USB drive and boot up the server. Okay, the server is booted up, and now it's time to log in. The default username is installer, and the password will be OpenSense. I'll use the default key map and install the ZFS file system. This might take a few minutes. Now we have to select the disk redundancy type. Again, I'll just go with the default, which is Stripe. Okay, a side note here. If you're using a more robust server with multiple hard drives, you might want to select a RAID or mirrored option. This will give you some insurance in case you happen to lose a drive. Next, I'll select my drive and click OK. Before installing, you'll get a warning message that your hard drive contents are about to be replaced. That's expected in this case, so I'll select Yes and Continue. Again, this will take a few minutes. Once the OS is installed, you'll have the option to change your root password and reboot. Okay, in the next few sections, I'll be updating a lot of settings. To make things easier, I'll have all the commands and configurations on my GitHub page, link in the description below. With the server restarted, let's configure the network. This time I'll log in as root. I'll select two to set up the IP interface, then one to update the LAN address. Since I wanna manually configure the IP addressing, I'll go with the default, which is N. And for the IP address, I'll use 192.168.3.2. The subnet mask I'll use is 24, which is a class C address space. And since I'm just using OpenSense for DNS and not as a firewall, I'll press enter here for none. For my cloud, I'll be using IPv4 addressing. So I'll skip these steps by pressing N for all the IPv6 configurations. I do want to set up DHCP on the LAN interface, so I'll select Y here. And this will allow me to automatically assign IP addresses. Next, I need to establish a pool of addresses that DHCP will use. I'll start with 192.168.3.200, and I'll end with .250. For the GUI protocol, I'll change this from HTTPS to HTTP. You can change this back if you decide to secure OpenSense with TLS. Finally, I'll select N for the GUI defaults. At this point, OpenSense is installed with an IP address. To finish the configuration, I'll use my browser. For my server, the address will be 192.168.3.2. I'll log in using the root username and password, and now I'm prompted with an installation wizard. So let's click Next to kick it off. For the host name, I'll leave it as OpenSense. And for the domain, I'll use heavymetalcloud.lan. Make sure that Enable Resolver is checked under the Unbound DNS section. And for everything else, I'll keep the defaults and click Next. And I'll also use the defaults for the name server. If you aren't using OpenSense as a firewall, you can leave the LAN settings as default. The LAN interface settings should already be populated, so I'll click Next to continue. And again, you have the option to change your root password. I'll just click Next. 
Selecting reload will restart the OpenSense server, and this might take a few minutes. Next, OpenSense will need access to the public internet. For this, I'll go to System, Gateways, and Configuration. Again, since I'm not using OpenSense as a firewall, I'll use the LAN interface as my gateway. To add a new interface, click the plus button. I'll use LAN underscore GW as the name, and for the interface dropdown, select LAN. The IP address will be 192.168.3.1. This is the IP address of my internet router. Then I'll check upstream gateway and click save. For my setup, I won't be using a WAN interface. So to avoid routing issues, I'll disable it. I'll do this by clicking the green arrow next to WAN underscore GW. Once that's done, I'll click apply. Now it's time to set up DNS. The subsystem that handles this is called Unbound DNS. It's a lightweight DNS server that's built into OpenSense. From the left-hand menu, select Services, Unbound DNS, and General. Most of these settings I'll leave as default, but I'll check DNSSEC and DNS64 support. I'll also check Text Comment support and Flush DNS Cache during reload. And I'll click Apply to save the changes. Unbound DNS will handle all the DNS for my heavymetalcloud.lan domain, but for external DNS resolution, I'll deploy OpenSense to a public resolver. For example, if I want to look up the IP address for apple.com, I need to reach out to a public-facing DNS resolver. To set up external DNS resolution, go to a System, Settings, and General. In the Networking section, I'll add a DNS server and here I'll use Google's public DNS server, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 For the Use Gateway dropdown, I'll select the LAN gateway that I created in the previous step. And I'll click Save, and again, this may take a few minutes. Okay, we're almost there. With Unbound and External DNS set up, we can now create our individual DNS entries. To do this, go to Services, Unbound DNS, and Overrides. I'll create a DNS entry for the OpenSense server. On the right-hand side, click the plus button. For the host, enter OpenSense, and the domain name will be heavymetalcloud.lan. The IP address will be the IP of the server, which is 192.168.3.2. Then click Save and Apply. Now let's make sure everything works. To test this out, I'll hop on my laptop which is on the 192.168.3.0 network. I'll use a command called nslookup. Next, I'll change the name server to point to the OpenSense server. So instead of getting my DNS from a public DNS resolver, I'll be pointing to OpenSense instead. I'll then type in opensense.heavymetalcloud.lan. And you can see it's returning the IP of the server, which is 192.168.3.2. If we type in google.com, you'll see that OpenSense is able to resolve the public DNS as well. So this is great. DNS is working, and the first server in my small cloud is ready to go. In the next video, I'll set up the next server, which will be used for shared services. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video.